AI animation is going kind of crazy lately. Let us take a look at this new show. Get up! We are going to be late! Uh, five more minutes. Seriously? You're hugging it again? Calm down. I'm just brushing my teeth. Ah, uh, I'm going back to bed. Wake me up when you are done. Everything you just saw was made entirely using AI and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how you can get similar results step by step. First, you are going to need the correct tools. There are dozens of AI platforms out there, but I am going to use OpenArt as it gives me all the tools I need under one subscription. If you want to follow along, I'll leave a link to OpenArt in the description so you can test everything out as we go. Step 1. Getting animation script. To begin, you need a script of the storyline of what you want the AI to help you generate. For that, you can use the custom GPT I've created in the description to follow along with the tutorial. Your script would need characters and also a brief description of what you want to see in the story. So you have to mention something like this. I want to create a short animated film about two siblings getting ready for school in the morning. Each character should speak in separate shots so I can use a lip sync tool. The story should be natural with dialogue that sounds like everyday life. I want the full story broken into five short scenes. The reason you need to be specific in the prompt is because for each of those shots you would need a text to image prompt. So you can use that to generate what that shot would look like visually. And for each of those images generated from the text to image prompt, you also need an image to video prompt which you can copy and put in the AI generator model to bring it to life. Usually the prompting process would be more tedious if you're doing it from scratch, but since you are going to use my custom GPT, I've made the process more straightforward and easy to follow. The result from ChatGPT should look something like this. Step 2. Image prompt. You can copy the image prompt and bring it over to OpenArt. From the OpenArt home screen, look at the sidebar and click on generate image. Once you're in, click on switch under the models or characters tab and you can see many types of image generator model you can choose from. This is why I love OpenArt because it offers all in one subscription that gives you access to multiple models. For this part, I will choose Flux Dev since I find that it gives the best result. Paste in the image prompt in the prompt box. Scroll down and change the output size to cinema 16 by 9. Once done, click on create. When you get an image that you like, download it. Let's move on to video generation. Step 3, video prompt. Head back to the script generated by my custom bot and copy the image to video prompt. With the prompt, let's go back to open art. This time, click on generate video on the sidebar instead. The model I will choose to generate this animation is Kling 2.1. Put the image that we downloaded just now in here. After that, paste in the video prompt, scroll down to the settings, change the quality mode to pro, as I find that pro mode is the most worth it in terms of credits to result. Once done, click on create. This is my result. Now this generation is pretty good and it only costs three 100 credits for a 5 second animation. You can also try other models like Veo3 or One 2.2 to compare style and motion quality. I'll break down the differences and cost. Now this result is also pretty decent and it came with sound as well but I think it's not that important as we will do voice generation and lip sync later on in the video. In my opinion, VO3 is not worth five times the credit cost compared to Kling 2.1 Pro as it costs 1,500 credits. Moving on to one 2.2, the results are underwhelming. However, it is the cheapest if you want to generate something with the least amount of credit coming in at 150 credits. The major drawback of this model is that the highest quality that it is able to generate is only at 720p. Overall, I think Kling 2.1 Pro is the best value for credits to result. Step 4. 11 laps of voice over. Now that we have the animated scene prepared, let's move on to generating the voiceover for our character. Copy the voice line generated by my custom GPT and head over to 11 laps. Once you're in the homepage, click on voices on the sidebar and then click on trending voices. Here you can filter by a lot of things, but for my case, I will filter with English as the language and category I will choose characters and animation. Gender female and age young. Listen to a few from the list and see which one is more suitable for your character to sound like. I like the sound of Britney, so click on use voice, paste in the voice line and hit generate speech. Get up! We are going to be late! Step 5. Lip sync. Now that we have the audio prepared, let's combine it together using the OpenArt lip sync feature. Head back to OpenArt home screen, click on generate video. Here you have to click on audio and put your video inside. Once done, put your downloaded audio clip from 11 labs inside the lip sync box. Then click generate. Here is the final result for my first scene. Get up! We are going to be late! Now all you have to do is repeat the sequence for however many scenes your stories have using the same exact step. Step 6. Editing. 
Now we move on to any editing software you like, but I am going to use CapCut as it is free and easy to use. You don't have to do anything difficult. Just drag and drop your individual scene into the timeline and export it as MP4 format. After that, your animation story is completed. Get up! We are going to be late! Ugh, five more minutes. Seriously? You're hugging it again? Calm down, I'm just brushing my teeth. Ah, uh, I'm going back to bed. Wake me up when you are done. So basically, that is how you can get started animating stories using AI in a nutshell. You can be as creative and in-depth as you like, as this is just to show you how AI can help to bring your ideas to life even if you don't have the skills to animate them. In terms of the tools that I used to generate all the results, it is called OpenArt and let me give you an idea of how much it is and which one is the best option for you. If you get the annual plan right now, OpenArt is currently doing a 50% promotion, which is quite worth it. As if you get the advanced plan, it would cost you less than $15 and you can get enough credits to generate about 120 individual scenes a month. If you just want to test OpenArt out for a month, you can use my code DAN20 to get 20% off your first monthly subscription. Check out this video that is on the screen right now if you want to learn how you can also use OpenArt to create simple AI animations.